Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's question is: Solve d square plus d minus c and number n into y is equal to x. This is an non-homogeneous linear differential equation. So, first write solution. Then write the given equation is the given equation is in symbolic form. Okay, write the first statement here. Is in symbolic form. Why I'm telling symbolic form means symbolic form. Why I'm telling means here d is it d means symbolic form okay now write the first question d square plus d minus six under bracket into y is equal to x square now there are three steps to solve this question first step is to find a particular integral uh, so first step is to find a combinatorial function second step is to find the particular integral third step is to find the general solution so step one okay so write step one okay step one is to find a complementary function okay so first uh, in complementary function we take LHS effort okay d square plus d minus six under bracket into y is equal to and we don't consider RHS in complementary function we consider as zero okay now send this by this become zero our equation is d square plus d minus six is equal to zero now write the equation in auxiliary form okay write in write in auxiliary form okay auxiliary form okay auxiliary form instead of d i write m okay so it become m square plus m m minus 6 is equal to 0 okay so what we will do here i am using million terms writing method here okay so it become minus 6 square to the 3 to the 3 to the 6 okay and you have to get here plus so plus 3 into 2 so it become m square m square plus 3m minus 2m minus 6 is equal to 0 now you take m as common here so m is equal to m plus 3 into minus you take minus 2 as common minus 2 into m plus 3 okay it means our values are getting here 2 3 is a 6 minus 2 into 3 is become minus okay okay now you take m plus m plus are common here what is remaining after taking in the bracket so you got m minus 2 now separately equate this uh, values with 0 so it become m plus 3 is equal to 0 m minus 2 is equal to 0 okay now our m1 is equal to minus 3 and m2 is equal to plus 2 okay so uh, i'm just sending this to plus 3 to go your minus 3 minus 2 become plus 2 now right the roots are different the right again okay, the roots are different okay write this case the roots are different then write y is equal to a into e power m1 x plus b into e power m2 x now right here now our complementary function is okay this is complementary so a into a, what is m1 is minus is become minus 3x plus b into a, what is m2 is 2x so it become 2x okay after this we gonna have the step one now step two step two step two is what to find a particular integral okay so p i okay now right here p i is equal to p i is equal to x by f of d now what is x this is x this word function is and f of d means this okay don't why don't take y here this is f of d so right, what is x is equal to x square by d square plus d minus 6 okay now what you will do now just you will do x square by minus 6 take outside and divide by 6 this function so minus 6 under bracket 1 1 minus d by 6 minus d square by 6 okay i'm just uh, taking minus 6 outside if you multiply we get same values here okay after you what we'll do here x square by here what will do minus 6 under bracket 1 you will take minus as common here so become d d plus d square by 6 okay so now i have completed this step okay whatever i am writing here it will better you to understand okay now it is visible okay ah, next here what is here next minus i'm taking minus 6 outside okay so it become minus 1 by 6 now send this uh, 1 minus d plus d square by 6 to upside okay we send this upside you become inverse the value don't get it change here so we got 1 minus under bracket d minus d d plus d square by 6 into inverse into x square i'm simply sending this 
to upside so it become into it multiply yes now what you will do minus 1 by 6 under bracket under bracket now 1 minus now simply here divide this okay if you do uh, uh what i will do here means uh, now we are using here formula which formula i am using means one uh, one one minus d inverse okay here one minus this is one and this is one this whole function is d okay now one minus d inverse is equal to one plus d plus d square plus d cube okay now here we don't take d cube why means yet x here uh, rhs side is what squared there so that's why i'm taking square term here so I am taking till here only. So it become one minus what is d d plus d square. So one one plus d plus d square by six then plus d plus d square under by six under whole square. This is our into x square. Now here what will happen? Minus one by six under bracket. 1 plus now separately divide this so d by 6 plus d square by 6 then plus now here don't be get confused here if you d by 6 you don't take here d square d square will become d power 4 so we here is d square so i'm taking d square by 36 okay now it is in the bracket into x square now what you will do just you will do simply lcm minus 1 by 6 under flower bracket 1 plus d by 6 6 plus now you will take lcm here so it become 6 d square plus d square by 36 i'm just taking lcm here okay if you take lcm it will become uh, 6 uh, 36 and it will become 6 up so into x square afterwards what we will do 6 plus d square d 6 d square plus d square it become minus 1 by 6 under under bracket 1 plus d by 6 plus 7 d square d7 d square by 36 okay into x square now what you will do just minus 1 by 6 under bracket 1 my what is d d means differentiate okay we will differentiate okay differentiate i'm writing here be better to understand to it d different square differentiate so we come here it will what you will do it you will take 1 by 6 here also 1 by 6 you know d by dx of x square okay d by dx of x square is equal to 2x into 2 minus you come 2x 2x okay plus you will take 7 by 36 out of 7 by 36 into d square double time differentiate x square so we just some one time so d by dx of 2x 2x okay first time we differentiate now i'm taking this okay 2 is you come 2 into 1 okay so 2 okay now what will now here we will cancel here 2 ones are hmm? sorry if you multiply 1 into x you come here x square okay here x square now 2 ones are 2 threes are huh? 2 ones are 2 18 za okay now what we will do minus 1 by 6 into x square x square plus 1 by 3x plus 7 by 18 okay this is our particular integral now just only we completed our step 2 now what we will do take step 3 here now write step 3 is equal to that now step 3 the general solution is the general solution is the general solution is y is equal to y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral okay now what is our complementary function this is a into e power 3x plus b into e power 2x then plus what is our uh, particular now right here then no minus plus not yeah minus so i'm writing minus 1 by 6 into x square plus 1 by 3 into x plus 7 by 18 this is our general solution this is our other thanks for watching